Alright, so this is scarification part. Yeah. Um, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, whatever. I don't take cringe or whatever. Whatever the hell that is. Okay. Laser branding. The technical term for laser branding is elect. Okay, so this is laser branding. This is electrocautery branding. Um, that's what I was talking about in the last one. The electrocautery unit is more like an arc welder for skin than a medical laser. So it's possible to use. So it's, so it's possible to use a medical laser for scarification. Electric sparks jump from the device to the skin, vaporizing the skin. This is a more precise form of scarification because it is possible to regulate the depth and nature of the skin. <laughs> of the skin damage being done to it. Finally, the rare method, uh, cool, cold branding. The rare method of branding is the same thing as strike branding, except that the metal branding tool is subjected to extreme cold, such as liquid nitrogen, rather than extreme heat. This method will cause the hair on the brand to grow back white and will not cause keloiding, which keloiding, for those of you who don't know, is... Uh, a type of scar which, depending on its maturity, like a keloid is a type of scar which, depending on its maturity, is composed to mainly either type 3 or type 1 collagen. Uh, that's what it looks like. It turns pink, basically. From rubbery lesions. Okay. So now, cutting. This is like one of the most, this is some of the most painful stuff, but this hurts. But I mean, that's what I do. Anyway, cutting the skin for cosmetic purposes is not to be confused with self-harm, which also, which is also, see, this is what I do. It's not for self-harm, it's just for cosmetic purposes, which is also referred to by the euphemism cutting. There may be cases of self-mutilation and self-scarification for non-cosmetic reasons. Lines are cut with surgical blade technical techniques include ink rubbing, tattoo ink, or another sterile coloring ink agent is rubbed into a fresh cut. Most of the ink remains in the skin as the cut heals and will have the same basic effect as tattoo. As with tattoos, it is important not to pick the scabs. Uh, this will put out the, pull out the ink. The genetic public often interprets ink rubbing as poorly done tattoos. Skin removal or skinning. Blech. Cutting in single lines produces relatively thin scars, and skin removal is a way to get a larger area or scar tissue. The outlines of the area of the skin will be removed. Uh, to be removed will be cut, and then the skin will be removed. The skin to be removed will be out of the way. Of course, this method often has an inconsistent texture. Uh, packing. This method is uncommon in the West, but it has traditionally been used in Africa. A cut is made diagonally and an insert material such as clay or ash is packed into the wound. Massive hypertrophic scars are formed during healing as the wound pushes out the substance that has been inserted into the wound. Cigar ash is used in the United States for more rays and purple scars. People may also use ashes of deceased persons. That's kind of cool. That's interesting. Alright, hashing. Hatching. Similar in appearance to flesh removal, this method of scarification relies on using a sterile surgical scalpel to cut into the skin where a larger area is, is required to be scarred. You cut with a hatching technique similar to the sketching type. This method is easier to perform than flesh removal and can be done with one hand, which could be beneficial in some situations while this technique cannot take, no long, take longer or for larger pieces. It is useful for smaller, more detailed decisions and enables shading to be used. Abrasion. Scars can be formed by removing layers of skin through abrasion. Uh, this can be achieved using an inkless tattoo device or any object can remove skin through friction. This is what I did at first. The, uh, well, I guess this is what I've always done. Okay? So, you know, the eraser and all that stuff. Chemical scarification. Using corrosive chemicals to remove skin and induce scarring. The effects of this method are typical, similar to other simpler forms of scarification. As a result, there has been little research undertaken to this method. I'm sorry that I'm reading this all from Wikipedia. Um, I'm really sorry for that. But, uh, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning. Uh, 
Yeah. Um. I'm sorry. Okay. So. You know. Uh. This is a really interesting topic, actually. Um. Uh, you know, I'm interested, and I like it a lot. Uh. You know, scarification looks a little bit on. I'm not gonna show you scarring. Me scoring myself, but I will do it probably later tonight. Um, just to get the P and the C visual. Uh, so yeah, um, you know, I'm just gonna try it. Uh, like, well, I mean, I'm gonna do it. You know, I do it every time. Uh, the thing about me is I scar very easily. Uh, all right, come. All right, good boy. He's asleep on me. Sorry, Vlork. Okay. So, I'll show you some of my scars that I've not done myself, but have just happened. Oh. So, that's a scar on my ankle. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well because of the... So, it's like right there. Yeah, okay. And then I have this scar right here. That's right, right here. I don't think you can see it. Um, then, on the front of my knee, I have a huge one right here, right there, okay? Um, then on the front of my other knee, I have another pretty bit, pretty large one right there, okay? That's just some of my scars, you know, and then I got my arm. Now I'll try to show you my arm. You can kind of see the A right here. So it's like the A's right there. You can see it. I can see it. Alright, so that's, uh, just, that's basically all you need to do. Uh, I'm not going to do healing and everything, you know. Uh, I don't recommend that you scar yourself at all. I very much don't recommend that. I'm still going to do it myself, but, uh, please don't. Don't take anything that I've tried to, that I've taught you. For. Uh, like, don't, don't do this to yourself. Uh, if you're going to get guard go to a professional. Um, you know, there are a lot of good professionals. One of my idols is Steve Hayworth. I'm sure he still does it. Uh, so yeah. Alright, so Patrick Clark, I just taught you all you guys about branding and the different methods of branding and I mean scoring and what I've done to myself. Um, so yeah. You know. Uh pizzles, enemies, you know, comment, rate, subscribe, give me uh message me questions, message me suggestions. Uh, for videos, message me, you know, uh, jewelry that you might have, like, uh, like, sizes for jewelry that you might want to buy from me. Uh, me and Jake are still waiting to make that collab video of, uh, yeah, of us both, uh, having the, uh, selling our jewelry. So, yeah. Um, this is my Diablo, and I dropped it. Uh, I can't really Diablo in my room anymore. As you see, I've got two terrariums and a bird. Well, I'd like to throw that at my bird. You guys haven't seen my bird. Yes, there's my bird. Uh, if you're not still watching, you know, it's okay. Um, you know, check out my vi check out my Patrick Clark full page. Uh, I'm sure it's not getting that much. Uh, pretty sure I've talked about my jewelry and plug stuff before on there. But it's also a comedy channel, you know, me and Jake are just having some fun doing the productionist vlogs and everything. Uh, and a lot of these videos you've seen are productionist vlogs. Uh, I go on there, try out the Domino's Icing Challenge, you know. Uh, send, send a video, uh, put a video response up, and, you know. Alright, catch you guys later. Uh, Patrick Clark saying, it was.